Good day, I'm here at the Harbor Bay Historical Village with Brian Taylor. Brian, we're constructing something um, really special here, aren't we? We certainly are. We certainly are, George. Um, and this is all being funded by the Fraser Coast Council mm -hmm. through a rapid grant. And uh, it will be mainly a maritime and a printing mm -hmm. area display. And we've got two local sailboats which will be involved and we've uh, the funding has enabled us to put all these display uh, cabinets around the side and um, it is really without that the museum couldn't really progress. Yeah because yeah, you've got so many fantastic artifacts and boats even yeah. Um, but yeah you need to have a way to professionally and it is getting built professionally don't worry about that um, you need to really well um, display them so that people can uh, interpret them and appreciate them in a, yeah. a dust-free environment where they're not deteriorating exactly so yeah, yeah. So, so you'll be able to bring out things people haven't been able to previously see yes well we've got masses of stuff already in mm -hmm. our collections area mm -hmm. in storage waiting to come out and be displayed mm -hmm. and what are some of the artifacts people like to see here at the Harvard Bay Historical Village? Oh. They, they really like to see stuff that they remember their parents having. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I can remember my mum having one of these or my grandma having one of these. Mm. And, and that really winds them up. They're, they're very, the local people especially, get very involved. Mm -hmm. And they, they, of course, donate stuff to us too. Yeah. And uh, we're lucky in that um, John uh, Anderson will be in contact with them and they're on their way to the tip with a load of rubbish and they'll ring him and he'll say, oh no, bring it down here yeah. and we'll have a look. And we've, we've got some amazing stuff, yeah. glass negatives, mm. uh, cinema slides, that sort of thing, yeah. that would have been in the tip without John's yeah. intervention. The, the one and only of those cinema slides, those ads for local businesses yeah. and political candidates that would have been completely lost. Yeah. You've got a survey marker over there that was saved from the path of the, the construction of a new road. So, you know, you're really saving things for future generations. That's so, right, one that's of right. a kind things. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so tell me a bit about the um, boats that'll be on display in this building. Well, John knows more about the boats. Come on in, John. Come on in, John. Hi, George. Hi, Brian. Hi. Yeah, these uh, Don Carswell uh, has offered the museum mm -hmm. two, uh, I think they're Sabbath, Sabbath little boats, about mm -hmm. eight foot long, two meters long, and uh, Bruce Page of, of uh, newspaper of, of television uh, uh, mm -hmm. fame uh, was a partner with him here, and they have won at least two or three Australian championships all over Australia with these things. So yeah. rather than see them go to the tip, Don has offered them to the museum. They mm. will come here, be fully set up. So uh, the whole story of these little wooden sailing ships and the history of those will be here yeah. uh, together with other maritime yeah. uh, exhibits. That's fantastic. And what I love about um, the villages, the diversity, like you've got the old Hislop um, shark show stuff over there. In here you'll have um, the boats and what's that in the corner? Oh, that, Can we have a look that, at what's that, in the corner? Yeah. Yeah, this is um, a really substantial machine. It looks almost steampunk with um, things coming, a lot of moving parts clearly. What, what, what is this? It, this is a liner type machine and was basically used for printing. Mm -hmm. Just compare this with modern day printers, computers and digital printers compared to this. Yeah. This actually had numerous letters which were triggered by the guy doing the typing mm -hmm. and they would drop down into a, uh, a rack and then the rack would proceed across to the side and then molten lead mm -hmm. would be poured in against those molds and that, that would create a block of letters yeah. ready for actually using in printing. So this is how newspapers would have been printed the, for yeah, a while. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's incredible. Well, thanks, Brian. I've had an excellent time. I always enjoy coming here. It's fantastic for people of all ages. Yeah. Um, when are you open? Uh, well, we're, we're back to normal opening now, mm. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm. Um, Sunday we open at 10.30, Friday and Saturday at 1 o'clock. And of course, on Sundays we do our demonstrations, mm. uh, blacksmith, wood turning, corn shelling and rope making yeah and uh, everyone can take home a free souvenir piece of rope if they wish yeah it's a great experience yeah thank you for what everyone here is doing i know you have a fantastic team of volunteers but you do a fantastic job in preserving and documenting and showcasing history that people can understand and appreciate